Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm doing a somewhat try-on haul, but it's all gonna be mostly... <laughs> Is it all drugstore? Yeah, pretty much. So, I say somewhat try-on haul because some of these things I've already tried before, but I'll just use them again in this video so that I do a full face of drugstore makeup, I guess, is what's happening. I don't know, I'm, as usual, I'm making it up as I go. But I have a lot of things here because I had this bag, it's a Sephora bag, but I was keeping all my drugstore makeup, my new drugstore makeup in this bag. And it's taking up room in my new makeup drawer. And I need to reorganize. So I thought I would start the new year with this video. Happy New Year, by the way. It's been a few months since my last video. But um, maybe I'll tell you more about that as I put my makeup on or else I'll just ramble forever. So I think we're just going to jump right in. I think you guys know what I'm doing now. So I actually do have a new lip balm from the drugstore. It's by CoverGirl. It's the Clean Fresh Tinted Lip Balm with Hyaluronic Acid. And I got the shade Life is Pink. So that's the packaging. This is, I mean, it still says new here, but this is not <laughs> new anymore. Some of these things I've had since like the spring of last year. So yeah, but I wanted to try this. I think it was Emily Noel that was raving about these. So I saw it at the store and I had to get it. Really cute packaging. There's no scent to it. That's the shade. It's very bright. I think it's going to be sheer though. So let's see. Oh. <laughs> that is actually more colorful than I thought it would be. It feels extremely thin on the lips. Like it's not like one of those glossy lip balms. But yeah, we'll see how it goes throughout the video, I guess. So yeah, I just had to put that on first because I hate the feeling of dry lips and my lips were very dry. So the next thing I have to try, I actually just picked this up the other day and I broke two of my no buys <laughs> picking this up because it has a primer and a setting spray and those are two categories I said I was on a no buy for but this was such a good deal so this was on like liquidation at our local drugstore uh, for $13.99 for two full-size products and NYX is quite pricey for a drugstore brand especially in Canada so that is an actually that is actually a good price um, for here. So I guess this was like a holiday release and now that Christmas is over it was on liquidation but I'm really excited about this because I've really been wanting to try this NYX did I even say it? Yeah, it's NYX uh, Plump Right Back Plumping Serum and Primer because I I think probably in my last drugstore video I tried the marshmallow one and I really like that one but this one is more like a gel texture, I think, and I like that it's plumping. It says it has electrolytes, whatever that means, and up to 24 hour hydration. So I'm hoping this will be one of those gel primers that actually hydrates, like the Ciate Watermelon Burst. I really like the feeling of that, but it's also hydrating and I need that for dry skin. So let's try that out. I haven't even opened this yet. So this is what the primer looks like. It's one ounce, well 1.01, .01, so it's a standard size for a primer. And it's a pump. And this is plastic, if you didn't know, but I think it's <laughs> pretty obvious. So I guess I'll... I'm gonna do two pumps, but that's what it looks like. So it's a clear gel. So that's two pumps. It 
it kind of has a, a fragrance. I don't know if it's supposed to smell like anything in particular. Ooh, made in South Korea. That means it's probably going to be good. <laughs> so it says on the back, skin instantly feels and looks plump. Use alone or with foundation. Yeah, I think it said that with the marshmallow one too, that you could use it alone. But that one has like a glow. Well, like a sheen if I remember correctly. Maybe I'm misremembering. It's been a while. Um, okay, but this does feel nice. It feels like cooling. I guess it's like a bit tacky if you can see that on camera or hear that. Um, so maybe it will help to like um, grip your makeup as well. This isn't like marketed as a gripping primer, but that's kind of the vibe I get with this. Like the Milk Makeup Gripping Primer or the e.l.f. dupe for that one. I think this is in that same kind of theme okay i don't think it feels hydrating right now but i don't know <laughs> we'll have to see what it does but it's not it doesn't feel sticky or oily or anything so that's good okay so the only thing well, there's two things I'm trying today that I've already tried. Um, and this is, it's because I don't have a new one in this category. So I'm going to use my L'Oreal Age Perfect Radiant Serum Foundation. I have the shade 10 Ivory. I remember really liking this, but I honestly haven't used it in a really long time because I've been trying to pan things and you know my deck of panning project and my shop my stash so this was kind of like forgotten but if I remember correctly I really like it um I'm gonna have to wet my sponge though so I will be back okay I'm back with my sponge if you're following along yes I'm still using these pure sponges that I really don't like but yeah, th these came in a three pack and I gave the other two to my mom, so I hope she likes them better than I do, but yeah, not my favorite sponge, but it's the one that I have. It's, well, I have a lot of sponges, but it's the one that is in use right now. Put some of this on. I don't remember how much to use, but it's in like one of these squeezy bottles. So I'll start with that much. So I'm thinking if I don't like how this looks, it will be because of this, because I know that I really liked this last time I used it. Yes, so as I was saying, it's been a few months. I'm not even sure how many I haven't checked since my last video. And that is because I, well, if you guys don't know, and my other hobby is crafting, um, and I was in a craft fair, so it was my first fair ever. I have not even, like, been to this fair as a shopper before, but it was at my old high school, so that was kind of fun. Um, yeah, so I found out in well I found I joined like I signed up for it in October but I didn't find out I was in it till November um, because I'm it, I'm new to the fair so I was on the waiting list and when I found out I was in I was like oh okay <laughs> so now I have like only a little over a month to figure this out and make enough product and I don't even know how much product to make so this might be a very confusing story for you because if you guys already knew I have an Etsy shop where I make um, like essential oil perfumes, roll-ons, skincare roll-ons 
Um, but that's not <laughs> what I'm talking about. So I also make crafts like paper crafts, greeting cards, wood signs, um, tote bags, anything you can do with a Cricut basically. A Cricut is like a cutting machine so you can cut vinyl, you can make shirts with iron on, all sorts of things. So because it was my first fair, I didn't know what to make so I just made everything and it literally took up like my whole life. <laughs> so there was no way, like even if I would have sit down to film videos, I wouldn't have any time to edit them or upload them or anything. So I kind of took a hiatus. Um, so I hope you guys are still around <laughs> because I know I got a few new subscribers like right before my hiatus. So I feel kind of bad about that. But I think I'm back now because, well, another thing is when I start crafting, this room is my craft room. So I literally cannot do both because like the table that the camera is on right now is the table my Cricut goes on. So I can't do both because I would have to just keep moving everything around and I already made a mess of my house <laughs> during this time. But yeah, now like I've... I'm kind of closed shop for a little while for my crafting so I can get back to filming and so I didn't take a hiatus because I didn't want to film or I lost interest in makeup because as you will see I definitely have not uh, my next videos are gonna be hauls um, <laughs> and hopefully updates to some projects that I was supposed to finish last year so yeah, you'll see. But anyway, I can't really talk and put makeup on at the same time. I have to be talking about the makeup, so I'll stop talking about that now. But if you want to hear more about it, um, you can go on my Instagram or on my Facebook, I guess. Although I didn't really have time to post much about it there either. But anyway, it just felt like the last... Basically since like... Halloween till now I have literally like not stopped doing something so that's where I've been if anyone <laughs> cares so yeah but I think we'll keep going so this is with that small amount um I think I want to leave it there and just use concealer for like the extra red spots like this here um yeah but so I, I am liking how this looks with the primer. Um, this shade is very light though. And I don't have a tan, so I'm guessing it's just a light shade. It is number 10, which might be like the first or second shade in the range. For concealer, I'm very excited to try this. I have the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum. I have the shade... Fair. Um, I bought this like almost as soon as it came to Canada, right? Did I buy this in Canada? I am getting very confused now. Anyway, the point is I bought it like very soon after it launched, but I have not had a chance to try it yet. So we're going to try it together. So, and I, I'm hoping because these are both serum products that they work well together. So this is a pump style concealer so I'm guessing it's gonna be very liquidy and I have no idea how much to use oh so that was what the first pump gave me so okay it doesn't that seems to be enough probably that's the shade which looks very <laughs> bright on camera but in person it looks like it will be fine so I guess I'm just going to put some, well, I'm going to use it as a spot concealer and as my under eye concealer. So I'm just putting it where I have like redness to cover. I didn't mean to get it on my lip, but okay. So 
So, and I guess I'm just going to use a sponge to blend it out. Yeah, so I probably won't use this as a spot concealer. Yeah, like, you know, this is real life, but I mean, <laughs> when I'm not filming, like, a drugstore try-on haul, because... It's a very light shade and it's a serum concealer. So for a spot concealer, I prefer to use a shade that's basically the same as my skin tone because then it just blends in better and probably something that's like a thicker, creamier texture, you know? But this doesn't look bad or anything. But the real test is the under eye. Okay, it blends out very easily. So there's the difference. I think, wow, this has a lot more coverage than I thought it would just because of the consistency. I assumed it wouldn't be very full coverage, but that's pretty much like a medium coverage. This is kind of reminding me of my Tarte Aqua Sealer, which <laughs> now I have not finished yet. It, but I'm thinking, I'm, I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. I might have to just pass that on because it is so old now and it looks kind of funny. Like, it looks like it's maybe separating in the bottle, so I might just have to call it quits on that. But if you are following along, I've basically been trying to pan that for like two years and it's never ending. <laughs> because I only use it under my eyes and as you saw, I put two dots of concealer under each eye. So it's just lasting me forever. So I think I'm looking very pale, but I guess I match my neck. <laughs> but that's the concealer. It is like creasing a little right off the bat, but I, that's normal. I mean, cause I have fine lines under my eyes so especially with a serum concealer it's gonna crease a little so I'm not like concerned or I don't find that to be like a fault of this product um, but we'll have to just see how it wears but so far it looks really good like it's not cakey or powdery or anything so I'm liking this so far but the real test is the wear test so I will update you probably in either the, the description depending on when this video goes up or the pinned comment so just check below. So I don't think I'm going to powder that either because I don't always powder my under eyes so I don't want to powder it and then not really know how the concealer performs so we'll just leave it like that for now. But yeah, it looks pretty good. I guess what I'll do next is the bronzer. So this is a product that is not new to me anymore and you will have seen it already on my channel. It's the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Bronzer. It looks like this. So this was brand new when I pulled it in to my deck of panning, right? I think that's, yes, it's my deck of panning. Um, I did reach my goal on it, spoiler alert. Um, but this is the only like new bronzer from the drugstore in my collection. So that's the one I'm using today. I've already used quite a bit of it. If you can tell the pattern like wore off over here. Um, and I've been liking this. It's very blendable, smooth. Yeah, I have nothing bad to say about it. So where's the brush? I like oh, this one. This brush is the one I've been using for bronzer. It's the Moda, well, it's from Royal and Lang Nickel, the Moda line, but there's no name on it. But I really like this one. So I just kind of coat the brush and then I tap off a little because it is quite powdery. I think that's why it looks like I've used so much of it already. Although I kind of have been using a lot of it because it was in my deck of panning for like a 10 use goal and I way surpassed that because I put this in my everyday makeup drawer and I just kept using it because it never 
like it's never too much and it's a really like neutral tone for me it's a little like leaning warm but that works for me as a bronzer because I think I'm like a neutral skin tone to begin with so to add warmth I need some warm bronzer <laughs> I don't know but I think you can see like it's very I don't know it just looks natural I guess and it is a matte bronzer so it's good for like any time of year for me yeah I think I'll just add a little more because that ivory shade is quite light yes so there's the bronzer I really like this one if you were looking for a drugstore bronzer this one is really good although it's I don't find this is very affordable. I feel like it was $25 Canadian, if I remember correctly. I just remember it being like, I thought it was very expensive for being a drugstore bronzer, but that's how it is in Canada. I'm very excited about this product too. This blush from CoverGirl. This is the True Blend So Flushed High Pigment Blush. Look at this shade. When I saw this, I was like, oh, I have to have it. So I did buy this in the summer. <laughs> and this is more of like a summer shade. For me, it's the shade Hot Frenzy. But this color just got me. And I actually haven't heard like anyone talk about these. I don't know if it's because they're not good. <laughs> I hope they are. But I think this was new, like when I, at the time that I bought it, at least new to Canada. So I just was really intrigued by this. So I'm gonna go in with a light hand because it is called a high pigment blush. So I don't wanna go crazy. Just gonna dab my brush in. Oh, okay. It wasn't powdery like the bronzer, so I wasn't sure how much I was getting. Maybe that will be enough for both cheeks. Ooh. Yeah, definitely a blush I will reach for in the summer. Um, just because it has like that burnt kind of look which I prefer in the summer months. It looks more natural in the summer because it looks like, you know, you just were getting sunburnt. <laughs> oh dear. This, yeah, this is a high pigment blush. Like that, those few little dabs I did are going a long way. So I think I will not add any more. Ooh. Okay, I really like this shade though. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's just pretend I didn't apply too much and move on. But I don't mind how it looks. I needed, I feel like I needed color in my face anyway. So that was the CoverGirl True Blend So Flushed High Pigment Blush. I'm excited. This might be very similar to a ColourPop blush that I have though. Um, but yeah. I just wanted to try it. And I don't have many blushes from the drugstore. So yeah. That was my excuse for buying that one. Oh, I didn't pull any hot drugstore highlighter out. Do I have a new drugstore highlighter? I don't think so, because it would have been in this bag, but let me check my drawer. Okay, I don't have a new drugstore highlighter, um, but I haven't used this one in probably years, literally. <laughs> it's the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in Precious Petals. I think this used to be very popular on YouTube, um, but as you can see, it looks like I haven't touched it at all, but it was open, so I'm sure I used it a few times at least. 
So let's go in with this. I think it will be a nice, um, it will go well with the blush because it's like a, I don't know, kind of has like a goldy peach undertone. Let's see. I'm going to use a fan brush so I don't apply too much of it. Oh, that's pretty. I really like this actually. It's not like too much, like it's not icy or too metallic, but it's still like you can tell that it's there. And I don't think it's giving me an undercast, which is good. So, oh, I just came back from the States also. Um, and I went to Ulta. And is it just me or is there like nothing very exciting in the drugstore makeup world? Because normally when I go to Ulta, it's like the most exciting thing ever because we don't have Ulta in Canada. So it's usually like all kinds of things we don't get here or like collections we don't have in Canada that are exclusive to Ulta. But I was like, I've seen all this before. I don't know. Let me guys know. <laughs> Let me guys know. What did I just say? Let me know <laughs> what you guys think about that. Is it just me? Or is like the drugstore makeup world a bit slow right now. I'm not sure. I did see actually a new product from NYX. I think it's in the same line as this, the Bear With Me line. The Blur, I think it's a skin tint they call it. And I almost bought it, but I turned it around and it said matte. Like, And I was like, no, I don't want that. But. If you guys have tried it, let me know. I haven't seen any reviews on it yet. But sometimes when things say they're matte, they're they're still nice on my dry skin because they're matte in the sense that they have like a blurring effect, which I like. But I don't like when it's matte in like a dry sense and I was not sure about it, so I didn't get it. But if I need to get it, let me know. I'm actually not even sure if we have it in Canada yet. I haven't been to the makeup section of a Canadian drugstore in a while. So we might actually have it also. So I can always check there. But if you guys want a review on that or something. Um, but yeah. That was the only thing that I was sort of intrigued by. I am liking how this looks now. What do I do next? So bronzer, highlighter, blush eyeshadow. So I actually have two eyeshadow palettes here. This one I bought a long time ago. <laughs> the Elf Cookies and Dreams. This is super old to most of you probably, but this is a collection we are still getting in Canada at Walmart. This is like the new collection for us. And I really like the color story. I love these like denim blues. Um, mix with the neutrals because I think you can make like a fun look and have it not go to like 80s blue if you know what I mean. So this really got to me and it was very affordable if I remember correctly. I mean it's e.l.f. so it probably was. Um, yeah and I really like my e.l.f. bite size palettes and I'm assuming this is like the same kind of formula but it's an eight pan, so I have this. I also got the Elf Cookies and Dreams No Budge Eyeshadow Stick, I guess, in the, the same like blue shade. Like, it's the same shade as the packaging, actually. Have I opened this? Yes. So it looks like that. And I was really excited about this when I first bought it, but now I'm, I don't know what to do with it. 
I think I was gonna do like a whole new drugstore video at the time and probably use these together like use the eyeshadow stick as a base for this palette but I think that's not where I want to go with this now since I have this like vibrant blush on but I don't know this will probably be another um, line that I reach for in the summer months more although blue is fun in winter too so I don't know we'll see but for today I have another palette that I think I'd rather use which is from LA Girl this I got in Ulta not when I was just there because I saw they didn't even have it anymore so I guess this was limited edition for summer but it's the Sun Kissed Glow 20 color eyeshadow palette so it it still has the sleeve on it, but the packaging itself looks exactly the same. And this is a neutral palette, so I probably didn't need it, but I just loved how it looked. And I did see at the time when this first came out, people were like raving about this. And it was, I think, $17.99 American, which I did think was a little pricey for LA girl because that means it's like $25 Canadian or more with like the tax and everything so I did I was a little surprised at the price but it is a 20 color sorry I'm just taking this off and I'm just realizing the names are only on this thing so I think I'm going to keep it for reference but these are the shades so I think this looks really beautiful. So these two rows are shimmers, um, except this one is like a matte with shimmer. And then these two rows are all mattes without shimmer. So these are the perfect shades for me to start like the base of an eyeshadow look with. So I'm really happy to have those shades as the mattes. And then the shimmers are just really pretty. You could do like more of like a pink look, a peach, or bronzy brown. So even though it's called what the Sun Kissed Glow palette, yeah, it's not just like a one one look. You know what I mean? I don't know. <laughs> so, cause some neutral palettes, like there's there could be twenty shades of brown in them. You know, like Morphe or that kind of thing. So I like the variation in this. I haven't used it yet, but from what I can see with my eyes, it looks great. And it has a matte cream shadow and a black. If you like to use black to deepen up your looks, usually I don't touch the blacks in my palettes, but we'll see. So I think I'll just get started. Um, I do want to use my eyeshadow primer because I always use it, so it would make sense to use it with a new palette. So this is not from the drugstore, it's my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer, port. eyeshadow primer potion in original. This is the one I always use. I do have the NYX Glitter Primer, but I don't use this as an eyeshadow primer. I only use it when I have like a very chunky glittery shade then I would put this on but I wanted to show you I do have the NYX glitter primer I just don't use it for my base um, and primers are not things that I find exciting to purchase <laughs> like I don't need to buy different primers to test out because that's just not fun for me and this one works fine so kind of just want to use it up because it is getting quite old and because I only use it honestly like a few times a month if that it just keeps going and going as usual I'm gonna start with the matte cream shade just to like brighten oh okay this is very <laughs> very powdery right off the bat I don't know if, how well you can see that on camera but Tons of product got picked up just then. So I'm going to tap a bit off. So I'll probably just do this one eye on camera. 
so that this video isn't a million years long and I do want to film other videos today since I am off work. So that's the shade. I mean, it's a matte cream shade, so it's not going to look <laughs> spectacular or it's not going to look like you see it very much, but yes, it did what it's purposes for me which is just to like even out the base and act as like a another layer for the next shadows that I put on so I always if there's a cream shade and a palette I always use it for that reason and then for my transition shade I could go more of like a peachy route which I think I might do just to go with this look with my blush and everything and the highlighter so for my transition shade i'm gonna use this shade here which was called oh i don't know um desert sky oh and there's no mirror in this palette if you were wondering it just says and so the adventure begins I don't know, I think for the price, they could have put a mirror in it. But honestly, when I'm doing my makeup, when I'm not filming, I don't use the mirrors and palettes. I only use them for filming, so I can't really complain about that. Okay, that is a nice shade for a transition though. Just do another dab. So yeah, so far the mattes are very powdery. But you guys know, I don't mind that. Okay, I like how that looks so far because it's a bit more peachy. So it gives some brightness too. So I think what I want to do, just to deepen up the outer corner a little, I'm going to go in with a smaller fluffy brush. I think I'm going to go with this shade here which is called C. I need to have shades in the palette or else I can't tell you. Ombre. And I'm just gonna put that on the outer corner and like into the crease here. So I think this is gonna end up being a very natural <laughs> look, but I think you could really get some more dramatic looks out of this because these, shades here are quite richly pigmented so yeah you could do like a nighttime look with this also i think that's all i want to do for now because i definitely want to use a shimmer on the lid there's so many options but i definitely think i'm going with this peachy one or like pink even that's the shade sunrise so let me swatch it first to know how I'm gonna apply this it's one of those very metallic shades that feels like almost creamy to the touch okay but yeah I think it'll go well with a brush because it's not oh that's really pretty it wasn't too like oily feeling when I swatched it on my hand so I'm going to use a brush and we'll see if I need to go in with my finger or something. I'm going to use this Billion Dollar Brows. No. I always say that. Billion Dollar Brushes. Because Billion Dollar Brows is a thing also. The same company, but they also make brushes. This is actually a concealer brush. But I like that it's flat and dense. That's how I like to apply shades like this with a brush so I'm just gonna pick some up there it is on the brush and I guess try to pat it on and not like fluff it around too much because there might be fallout if I do that because this shade is actually quite sparkly Ooh, it's really pretty it's actually reminding me of the shade Sam from Lunar Beauty's um, neutral palette. 
and that just comes to mind because that shade is in my um, Pando's Eyeshadows project and it kind of looks like that. That's very pretty. So it's not as like opaque on the eye, like it kind of shears out but the sparkle is really nice. I love it already. This is like my everyday, if I'm going to put eyeshadow on during the day, it would be this. Because it's it adds a little something, but it's also neutral. <laughs> and I love it. Okay, really happy with how that performed. Um, I don't have any crazy fallout anywhere, even though I used a brush. And even though it's quite, like there's sparkles in it. They stayed on my eye, which I like. I really like how this is going. So I'm gonna go back to the lower, well, back to the mattes for the lower lash line. I'm gonna go back in with the shade Ombre, because I don't think I wanna put peach under my eye. Sometimes I feel that makes me look, like it brings out the redness in my eyes. I'd rather not do that. So I'm just running that along basically the entire lower lash line except the inner corner. Yes, that's what I was going for. And then for the inner corner, the lightest shimmer in this palette is this one here. It's the shade Highlight. So, let's see, yes, this looks more like a, a very light champagne shimmer, yep, which is perfect for inner corner highlighting, for my skin tone at least. Yeah, these shimmers are so smooth, but they hold the shimmer, like sometimes shimmer shades, when you blend them out, they don't look as like they lose the shine, I guess, but these ones, I like this formula. I think I could even put a little more. Yes, that's very pretty. I love it. I think that's all I want to do. I know it's a little boring, but I mean, this is a neutral palette, but I could definitely make it deeper with these shades, but I just feel like I'm not going for that look today. Plus, I don't want it to clash with this cheek that I have going. So let's leave it there. I will do the other eye off camera just to save time. And I don't have any drugstore mascara open right now or at all, I think. Um, so I'll just do that off camera also. Uh, but I'll come back and tell you what I used if anyone cares about that. Okay, I am back. Um, I did use my Essence Make Me Brow for my eyebrows. Still trying to pen this one too, but this is a great um, eyebrow like fiber gel from the drugstore if you were wondering. I have the shade Soft Brownie Brows. It's number three. Number three. And I, then I went over it with my Kosas Airbrow, so not from the drugstore, but this is just the eyebrow gel, the clear eyebrow gel that I have open right now, and I really like it. And for, for my mascara, um, I only have two mascaras, well, two mascaras and one um, waterproof mascara open right now, and I just opened this Hourglass Mini. This is... I think called the Caution Mascara in Ultra Black. Um, it's very dry, I think because it's old, not because of the formula. So I might only have a few uses to go with this, but so far I like it and I love this. This is not a review video, but I love this kind of brush that's like tapered at the end. So yeah. I like this one. But if you wanted a drugstore mascara, my favorite one right now is the Maybelline Sky High. So that's that for mascara and brows. Yeah, I didn't do anything else off camera but the other eye and the brows and mascara. So 
And I really like how everything looks. Just to give you a mid video check-in. Um, yeah, I remember why I love this. And it's because it doesn't look heavy on the skin, but it does have like really good coverage for a serum foundation. It says that it's radiant. I don't feel like it's extremely, like it doesn't mean dewy, but it does have like a skin-like finish. So if you were worried like radiant serum foundation meant like super oily or like way too dewy, I don't think that's what it means. Um, and I did use it with this Plump Right Back Serum Primer. So and it looks great so far. And the concealer looks great also. It it looks very natural. Sometimes um, I just skip concealer altogether because I find it just makes me look older because over time it just looks dry under my eyes. But this one looks great so far. I mean, it's only been <laughs> not even an hour, but usually I can tell that I don't like a concealer right away. So yeah, let's move on. I did find something else that I forgot to use, um, which I could have worked into this look actually, because this is the NYX Ultimate Glow Shot Brightening Liquid Eyeshadow. I haven't heard anything about this. I bought this, I think at the same time that I bought the LA Girl palette. So it was in the summer at some point. Um, and this is a liquid eyeshadow, obviously, in the shade Twisted Tangerine. I'm just gonna see what it looks like. Okay, yes, it has like a flat doe foot applicator. Honestly, I could have put this on today because it goes perfectly <laughs> with my eyeshadow look. But I totally forgot about it, so this will be something else I have to try in the future. But I do love this shade. Like, it's, it's called Twisted Tangerine, but I feel like it's more of a peach. And it kind of looks like it has sort of like a duochrome effect, just a tad. Like the shimmer inside is a different shade than the base, but... This will be for another day, but I did pick this up. If you guys have tried this, let me know. I feel like I have not seen anyone talk about this. So I hope it's because it's not bad. <laughs> um, I also have this NYX, this is Milky Gloss. I think I have already talked about this in a video because I've used it before. Um, these are actually quite pigmented. You might think because of the like, more vibrant colors they have that they go on sheer because there's like a green one and a purple one I think but they actually kind of go on very colorful so this has like obviously an orange tint when I wear it and it's the shade Mango Lassie so it smells really nice but I'm not gonna wear this today um, although it would go but Probably not over this pink lip balm, which feels pretty nice, by the way. It does feel like a lip balm. Like, it's not just giving color, if that makes sense. Um, but I think I want to try this today. This is from Maybelline. It's the Super Stay Vinyl Ink. And I haven't heard much about these. I think it's not that new anymore maybe and drugstore lip products kind of come and go quite quickly i don't know i have to smell everything does this smell or am i crazy i feel like there is some kind of scent to this not a bad scent but i don't know what it is oh this is shake well so i think I think this is probably very similar to the Urban Decay Vice. I actually have one of those too. Um, <laughs> like where you have to shake it, or like the Lady Gaga one, the House Labs. 
atomic shake or something. Yeah, because there's like a mechanism inside that you are meant to shake it. Like you can tell you're meant to shake it. So I don't know anything about this. I don't know why I bought it. I guess I thought it was a nice shade and it was something new that I haven't tried before. So it's a liquid lipstick. Apply as you normally would and let fully dry. That was very hard to read. It's very tiny. Okay, so I think it's going to go on very liquidy. And probably you are not supposed to like, you know, move your lips together until it's dry. I'm thinking it dries down, but it stays shiny. Because they already, I know they already have like liquid lipsticks. So I guess that's what this is. Okay, I won't move my lips together until it's dry. But so far, love the shade. Very neutral. Maybe looks a little darker than it normally would because of the lip balm underneath, but okay, I like it so far. I'm just not sure. <laughs> I really want to move my lips together, but I'll let it dry first, I guess. So while it's drying, I'm just going to move on to the last thing that I have here, which I just picked up in the States from Target. This is, I'm pretty sure you pronounce it Frenchy, but it's F-R-E-N-S-H-E. And this is a Awaken and Uplift Citrus Amber Hair, Body, and Linen Mist. And I heard um, Babs Beauty really raving about these. I don't remember if it was this particular scent, but I think she was trying all of them and she really liked them. So this is somebody's brand, like someone famous that I don't know, as usual, but I don't know, I just like love the, the packaging of this and I am almost done with my other body mist so I figured let's just try this one. But this is for hair, body, and linen so I find that very intriguing. So let's, let's see how this works. Oh, I do have a face setting mist to try it too but I want to try this to see what it smells like. Ooh. That is very fresh. I'm gonna put some on my arm too. Whoa. That's very fragrant for a body mist. But I think I like it. This would be really nice to put on like after a shower and just feel like very invigorated. Yes, I'll have to wear it longer to see how I feel, but it's very, um, I think because it's citrus amber, it's like very, you smell the citrus, but also like the warmth of the amber. I don't know. If you guys know what amber smells like, that probably made more sense. <laughs> but yeah, very excited about this so far. Um, and I think this was the only one they had left. There was like a lavender one that I would really like to try, but it was like not in the display, so I'm assuming it was out of stock. The whole display of this was actually very barren, so I think it's quite popular. Um, but yeah, so the last thing, the actual last thing I wanted to try was the Plump Finish Setting Spray from NYX. Um, so I guess, yeah, these are from the same electrolyte line, I suppose. So let's see what this does. What is like, what are the claims? So plump finish, I'm assuming it's hydrating. Use on bare skin for all day plump. 
Oh, use on bare skin for all day plump looking skin or use over makeup to keep makeup fresh all day. Okay, let's see. I'm trying, I have a coffee here, so, and I probably just sprayed all that fragrance into it, but let's try this. Oh, oh my god. Oh no, that was um, extremely wet. One of those sprays, I don't know if you can see, there's like huge drops. One of those sprays that um, really drenches you, so next time I'll have to hold that very, very far away from my, my face. Um, okay, so yeah, there is drops of that everywhere, so let's try and blend that in. Okay, I don't know if, like, what that did. It's not, it didn't, it's not marketed as a, like, illuminating spray or anything, so it, it didn't do that. Like, I don't, I'm not seeing any shimmer or something. So, I think it is just, like it says, to freshen up. So you can wear it alone or over your makeup, as it said on the back. So, we'll just have to see what that did. If that did anything at all, I don't know. Um, yeah, but not really a fan of the <laughs> the pump on this based on first impressions. Um, yeah, that's gonna be difficult to make sure like you don't get it in your eye or like on your eyeshadow. I've been having that problem, I think because, well, side note, the Half Magic Dew Lock Hydrating Set and Refresh Mist. This is the setting spray that I pulled in my shop, my stash, right? Yeah. Um, and this one, like, I have to cover my eyes when I spray it because my eyeshadow was, like, creasing all the time. And I was like, what's happening? Because I only ever use this Urban Decay Primer Potion and it never, like, it always works. And it's supposed to make your eyeshadow not crease. So I was like, what is going on? And it was because of this. Like, I was spraying this all over. And there's, like, too much oil, I guess, or something in this. Where it was making my eyeshadows crease. So, I do like this spray, but not on my eyes. <laughs> anyway, that was just a sidetrack. I don't even know why I mentioned that. Whatever. So, that's it for this video. I actually, okay, the lips. Let's just go back to that because, okay, I don't know. I guess it stayed a little shiny, but it's not like a glossy finish. So, I don't think it's going to be like the, um, the Lady Gaga one, the House Labs one, because <laughs> that one I'm pretty sure the whole point is that it stays shiny. But this looks like um like a bullet lipstick kind of like a creamy finish. It is like sticky. So I hope that it wears well, because sometimes liquid lipsticks when they have that stickiness the more you like talk or just go about your day it actually like patches up so i hope that's not what this does because i do really like this shade um for my lips like it's just very neutral it's like my lips but better kind of thing but it is doing that line here which i don't like I don't know how I'm going to feel about this, but I will also update you on how that wore. Because I guess it's supposed to be long wearing, because it's from the Super Stay line. So we'll see. But everything else, I really like. Um, I really like the concealer. I'm very happy with that. My face looks great. I love the blush. 
it is very pigmented so you do have to go in with a light hand especially with like a very vibrant shade like this but i think um it blended out very nicely and i love the the wet n wild highlighter it doesn't look powdery or anything which is good because sometimes i have that issue with powder highlighters and i love the eyeshadow so overall i think this was a very successful try on i mean i did have some things that i tried already which i already knew i liked but anyway so yeah that's it for this video let me know if there's anything else from the drugstore you would like to see a review of or a wear test or anything but just keep in mind i live in canada <laughs> so we like get new products from the drugstore like a year after everyone else so i might not have access to it but yeah you can let me know anyway and yeah i hope you like this video if you did give it a like subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in my next video bye